Hi! I literally just got so flustered as I started this vlog. I need my face fan. Mmm. Okay, so it's my graduation. I'm graduating tomorrow. I was kind of in two minds about vlogging it just because the main reason my graduation is the first one of the day so it's at half ten so I have to be there at half eight to lift my gown and and that means that I think I'm going to be getting up at like half six half six seven but I just don't want to be stressed and pushed for time I want to be like relaxed and calm yeah I think I'm going to get up at half six to give myself loads of time I am literally going to go to bed soon it's only like ten o'clock it's kind of like also like I can't vlog the ceremony let's be real I'm not going to whip my camera and then I'm gonna be like getting pictures and all taken after and I'm just a bit like how much am I actually gonna to get to vlog here like you actually may not get to see a lot of my graduation however I literally love the fact that I've like documented all these like monumental moments of my life like I literally scrolled down my YouTube the other day I was like I'm gonna do some self-reflecting and I scrolled down and I like, kind of scrolled through a few videos and then I was like showing my boyfriend all these like old videos of mine we were both like just sitting watching them and laughing and you know what I actually loved it and I just feel like my graduation is such a big deal and I want to be able to look back on it even if I don't actually get that much footage I want to have something but I'm obviously going to try and vlog as much as I can for you and I also just can't I can't do anything exciting without vlogging it like literally anything exciting that's happened in my life even if it's like minuscule is getting vlogged I don't actually think I spoke about my uni results basically I got a 2-1 I obviously am really happy with the 2-1 okay but I am just never happy unless it's the best thing ever that's just me it's just a toxic trait of mine so I kind of was disappointed that I didn't get a first I was only 2% off at first and I emailed you and I was like folks bump this the fuck up like they do this borderline thing where it's like basically if you're 3% within a first they will look at your average marks out the year and, and consider bumping you up and I emailed my lecturer straight away and was like yo put this to a first right now and then he emailed me back and was like yeah sorry we can't because basically your averages are just too spread out like one's a high first one's a low two one one's on the border like Basically, he was just like, no, sorry, they have to average out, and mine's are like this, so. They said no, okay, and I have dealt with it, I've processed it, I have moved on, and I am ready to celebrate, okay? I actually cried when I got my results at 9 o'clock, like, well, I'm actually so, there is nothing wrong with the 2 one. a 2 one is so good. I'm ready to celebrate my results, I'm extremely proud of myself, I worked very, very hard this year at uni. I don't know what's in the water at the minute. But I just can't get enough and you just know me, I don't drink any water. Oh my god, like does anyone else's mum force them to text their family members happy birthday? Like text this literally person who I haven't spoken to in a million years happy birthday and I'm like no, they don't text me either. What was I talking about? This always happens. Yeah the water because I was about to say I like sunbathed so much today, the weather was amazing. It's to be so good again tomorrow. My family came over this morning. They were on a really early flight and we went and got breakfast, went into town, walked about. My nana, my nana's over as well. My nana and my mummy went to some shops and me and my daddy sat outside in the sun and I had two more star martinis. Sorry, I'm just trying to update you on everything right now because when I get ready in the morning, I'll just not be able to function. Like I said, I actually was sunbathing all day and I got a pretty good tan, but it's not dark enough that I want for my graduation picture. I actually got this package gifted to me from Conic Bronze. So I'm actually going to use this here as my tan tonight. I have full faith in tans. Like, I'm about to use a new tan for my graduation, but, you know, I've read the reviews. I've seen the photos. I'm like, right, okay, this will do. I also have a back mitt that you can, like, put on and you go like this here. Get into, like, your back. However, I cannot be bothered to do that there. And, yeah, that's it. I just can't be bothered to do that. And also my dress. My dress is is got my whole top shoulders out but I'll be able to reach it with my arm and then I'm also going to use the base uh tanning water only a wee bit though of this here I'm not going to go crazy with tan on my face because um I can just wear darker foundation so okay tan's done I am now about to get into bed still violently sweating that tan oh my god so nice to put on like it literally just all blended out into like the one blur yeah I'm gonna go to bed now. I'm hoping to be sleeping by like quarter past 11. How many hours of sleep is that? Seven hours sleep. That's pretty good. I mean, I'm I'm sleep deprived most days, so if I get seven hours, I'm actually going quite well. And I will see you in the morning, bright and early, till we get ready. I'm about to put my teeth whitening in and I actually can't be bothered. I think I'm gonna sleep really well tonight because I didn't have a coffee today at all because I slept with my teeth whitening in last night and obviously you're just not supposed to drink like coffee or anything that stains or anything strong in color and I wanted one so 
badly earlier, but then I was like, you know what? No, it's my graduation. I want my teeth to be gleaming in my photo, so I was like, no coffee. So I'm also not gonna be able to have a coffee tomorrow morning, so that's pretty shit. Good morning. Okay, so I'm all ready to go. I, as anticipated, did not vlog anything this morning because I wasn't stressed, but I was just like, I'm just gonna get ready. But anyway, this is my dress now. I only tried this dress on this morning and I'm now wearing it. Basically I had another dress for my graduation and this one came yesterday and I didn't even bother trying it on. Didn't even take it out of the plastic because um, I was like, oh no, I've got my dress. And then this morning I decided to put it on and I was like, oh my God. I was like quickly texting Elle and Rachel and was like, which one will I wear? And they were like the pink. It is a bit short, but it's fine. I'm gonna have my gown on, so who cares? I also did something different with my hair. I don't know if you can tell, but I curled it with straighteners and and then I put it into rollers and I did that this morning and I actually I do like how it turned out I just know it is gonna I'm gonna have to be like fiddling with it the whole day I'm gonna be leaving now in like 10 minutes beautiful beautiful day to be graduating I'm gonna take some TikToks and stuff now and then I'm gonna go um this is my bag it doesn't actually go the best because originally um it was for my other dress and I had matched shoes, ordered shoes to match but they don't come but I'm just gonna wear this anyway, it doesn't matter, I just like don't have to get it in and in my photos and stuff. Okay, waiting on my Uber but I did forget to show you my tan hair. I think it looks really nice, I'm actually very impressed. I do have a discount code for that tan, I didn't want to give you the discount code last night because I haven't, like I hadn't tried it but this video also is not sponsored, I just do have a discount code which I'll put on screen if you want. Discount off, I also used iconic bronze, like this like glow. It looks like hairspray and you spray it on yourself. I'll put a photo on the screen of what it was and I put that on my chest and on my legs. Where's my Uber? I'm feeling a wee bit nervous now, so I am. Um, I think I've got everything I need. All I need is my license. I've got my tickets on my phone. I'm nervous to get my big professional photos in case I hate them because, I mean, CBA just hate my graduation photos. Like, there she is, the big graduate. Give us a twirl. People are looking. <laughs> I'm having minor technical difficulties with my hat as it's extremely big and just won't stay on my head. Here, I'll show you what it's like. My hat's a little big, see? It keeps... I'm gonna wear it like this on stage. <laughs> I dare you whenever they call your name to give a piece. No. Wow, my hair. Yeah, my hair is not... Daddy's standing in the queue. Daddy's waiting in the queue for us. Northumbria are so good when it comes to graduations, like the decorations they do and stuff, and like the campus looks so pretty. Would Heike recommend? Look at the big like grad sign. <laughs> there she is there, there she is standing up, I see her. Where? Here. Wine as fuck. <laughs> oh there, oh I see her. Take the career you pursue. We will now pause to Miss Jones. Katie We are now waiting in the queue to get my photos, which is really, really long. I also did buy the wrong pack. I bought a standard pack, and that's the one that doesn't include your family. So now we have to upgrade. Daddy just bought some champagne. We're gonna pop it. We're still at uni. We're sitting outside the SU. location we came to slug and lettuce on the quayside because where we're going for dinners on the quayside that's kind of handy and then we all just got a wee round of two for one cocktails and slug and lettuce cheers Woo! i didn't get trees what are what are we talking about <laughs> we can't tell you because it was so inappropriate okay i'm my mom and dad are giving me my graduation present right <laughs> so we are in the 
restaurant though. Really, really nice. And then we just got starters, got tempura prawn. Okay, good morning. So, actually, not good morning. It is like five o'clock. Okay, so obviously it's the next day. I vlogged what I could yesterday. I, I kind of just stopped vlogging um, at dinner because, well, to be honest, I was just getting a bit drunker. But the only other things I did was my... So we all obviously sat at the restaurant for a bit and then, like, my family went home. Their flight was the next morning pretty early and Ellen had to get a train down that night, like, last night. And then me and Paul went out to a few places and then we met up with all of our friends and we all got steaming. I'll show you my outfit as I'm literally about to go now and continue drinking. The dairy match is on. It is already started and I've already flipped and missed it. We're going to go and watch the dairy match somewhere and then I think potentially there's a house party tonight. I don't even know whose it is or people having it but apparently we are going to that. So this is my outfit. Pretty casual. Just wearing this with my orange sliders. I got this here top from Zara. I literally just got it um, in the seal there. Before I leave, Rachel got me a present. She just texted me to say that it was, um, she got me something and it was delivered. Oh my! Oh wait. I got these for myself. Oh my, I thought, yeah, I ordered these for myself. These were supposed to be my graduation shoes and I was like, that's so weird that she got me these because I sent the photo of them. Well, I'm really stupid. This present is not from Rachel. I also was thinking that's kind of a bit generous. Like I was not expecting anything. False alarm, that present is not from Rachel's. Hers isn't down there, damn. Okay, I really need to leave now, but I am gonna bring my camera and attempt to kind of like vlog the rest of today. Okay, it actually did come. Silly me missed it on the floor. So if you can see how messy my hat is, just don't look. There's honestly like wrappers lying everywhere of like a sauce and all because I ordered so many things to wear. Look, how cute is presents like this? Oh my God, look at that. It says such a smart cookie and it's a cookie cake. I love that. Here's a bit better lighting so you guys can see it. Oh my goodness. I love it, it's so cute. Me and Paul are gonna demolish that. Okay, that was a big light because I didn't vlog. Um, anything more after that there. So look at my lip, I have a cold sore. That's the first time I've ever got one. I'm sorry, I'm not dealing with it very well. I have some cream on it now, but that's the end of my vlog. That's such a good day. I was quite emotional as well, to be fair. I am extremely happy though I did decide to vlog, so now I have this here, but I really hope everyone enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.